you gorgeous individuals, it's Kav here and today I'm going to be bringing you my birthday book haul. My birthday was back at the beginning of September and some of you lovely people got me some presents and I bought myself some books myself because I love books. So I thought I would share it with you all because book hauls are fun for me to film and they are really popular with you and that seems like the perfect combination. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. The first book I have to show you is A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir and I actually think I got this novel at the end of August but I wanted to show you anyway because I love Saba. She is amazing. I was lucky enough to meet her and Adam Silvera in September right after my birthday. I have the UK edition, not the American edition because when I bought An Ember in the Ashes, I bought it while I was in India, so I wanted to make sure my covers were matching. But now she's released new covers for the books, so I want to buy those too. So yeah, I'm just gonna have like 15 copies of her books. And if you want to know more about the series, because I don't want to talk about it too much since this is a sequel, so I don't want to spoil anyone, then I will link my An Ember in the Ashes review up here, which has my dog in it, so you should go watch it. The next book I have on my list is Tiny Pretty Things by Sona Chirai Putra and Danielle Clayton. First of all, the cover for this book is gorgeous and it was sent to me by the wonderful Sierra Elmore and her Twitter account is Sierra Writes YA and she is just wonderful and great and I really admire her so you should definitely check her out. This book, the cover is just absolutely gorgeous and it's written by two amazing authors. From the back of the book and from what I've heard about it, I'm getting vibes that it's like kind of gossip girly except done diversely which seems perfect because I'm gossip girl trash and I'm also diversity trash is, is that a thing can we make it a thing diversity trash get it trending on twitter y'all yeah so I'm super excited to read this one and I'm really thankful Sierra sent it to me the next one I have on my list is Mask of Shadows by Lindsay Miller and this is the full copy of the book. I have an ARC review of it up so I will link that up here so that you all can see my thoughts on it. But as I do have a full ARC review, I don't want to go too into it. This book was sent to me by Shenmi who is such an amazing member of the community. They're constantly fighting for diversity and speaking up about issues and I really really do admire them and I'm so thankful that I'm lucky enough to have them in my life because they are such an important member of the community. I hope that you will support them because they are incredible and they sent me this lovely novel that I completely enjoyed so definitely check out my review so you can see all my thoughts on it. The next book on my list is Dumplin' by Julie Murphy and I have an arc of Ramona Blue by Julie Murphy so I thought I would go ahead and read this novel because it is being turned into a movie that my favorite actress Bex Taylor Claus is in so I thought well it's better now than never to pick it up and this one was sent to me by the lovely Natastra and I'm so thankful to her for sending it to me. Dumplin' is about a fat main character and it kind of takes her on a journey of from being sure of herself but then actually kind of becomes unsure of herself and becoming uncomfortable in her weight. So she ends up joining a beauty pageant to show that she deserves to be in a beauty pageant just like any other girl might and I'm really excited to read this novel. The next book on my list is Little and Lion by Brandy Colbert and this is the September Bookbound Society book of the month so I'm super excited to read it with all those lovely people over at the Bookbound Society. This book sounds super interesting. The premise is that there is a main character Suzette who comes home from LA and her her brother has bipolar disorder and he is in love with a girl and then Suzette kind of starts to fall for the same girl and that girl is not good for her brother's mental health so that creates this love triangle but like between siblings and I think that's just so cool and I believe that Suzette is bisexual I just think that that's a really cool premise because Love triangles are a very overused trope, but this is kind of a cool new play on that. And of course the representation in it, and I get to read it with some amazing people, so that's a great combination. The next book on my list is Under the Lights by Dahlia Adler, and this was sent to me by the lovely Shelly, who is also just another wonderful member of the community. She's so supportive, and her blog posts are great, and she's a lovely person, so definitely check her out and give her some support. So I absolutely love the cover of this novel. I absolutely adore Dahlia as well. She is an amazing member of the community as well. I've been following her on Twitter for a while and then I just recently learned that she had written books. I don't know how I missed that. I, I can be oblivious at times, okay? It's 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 fine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. This novel actually deals with like an actress main character, which I'm super into because I feel like there's not a lot of fame and stuff showcased in a lot of the books I read but I think that's a really cool premise too because it's something interesting that you don't see a lot so I'm super excited to read that and from what I've 
heard i believe there's a lesbian main character and a female by female relationship so that's some great stuff and i'm super excited to read it it's short it seems sweet so yeah the next book i have on my list is a dark history of magic by ve schwab i have heard amazing things about ve schwab for the longest time and earlier this summer maddie from maddie Lee reads sent me this savage song and i haven't read it yet because i want to have our dark duet and read them both at the same time but I found this while I was in a bookstore down in LA at Harry Potter World. Since I've heard great things about her and Maddie was actually texting me a few days or weeks earlier about how much she liked A Gathering of Shadows which is the sequel to this novel, I was like well I should pick it up because I've heard great things about her. She's like high on the list for so many people's favorite authors and stuff and so I thought why not pick it up? The next book I have on my list is Peter Darling by Austin Chant and unfortunately I don't know who sent this to me. I lost the note in the mail package so if you are watching this video and you sent this to me definitely comment down below or send me a DM on Twitter and let me know because I'd love to thank you personally for sending this to me because I think that was really kind and I really appreciate it. This novel is a fairy tale retelling of Peter Pan but it's a trans fairy tale retelling which I think is super cool because as many of you know, I love fairy tale retellings and I love diversity. So put the two together, especially Peter Pan because that's my second favorite fairy tale of all time. So that is extremely cool and I'm super excited to read this novel and it also is super short so I can probably get through it pretty quickly and it seems like a really good novel and it's great and I'm happy, yay. And I'm happy to have finally have it because I've been wanting to read an Austrian Chant book for a while since I've heard about Coffee Boy and Peter Darling and now I finally have one of them. The next book on my list is Jenna Finn by Hannah Moskowitz and Kat Helgeson and this was sent to me by Leia who is one of my favorite humans in the world and I love them so much and I'm so thankful that they sent me this novel. Hannah is also one of my favorite humans in the world so I'm glad to have a second book of hers. Now I have Jenna Finn which is super cool because I love supporting Hannah and supporting authors. It's not like other novels, it has like a really cool writing style. I guess that's kind of like a diary type thing. I don't know how to explain it. I guess I'll read it and then tell you how I perceived it after I've read it. The next book on my list is Home Going by Yag Yassi and this was also sent to me as a gift which I'm super thankful for and I will have the links of all the people who I know sent me gifts in the description below so that you can go support them all. I am really excited to read this novel because I've heard just phenomenal things about it. It follows the story of a main character who is from Ghana and that character is shipped to America and it deals with slavery and the civil war and so many other things that happened in America that a lot of people don't talk about and I think that that is such an important novel to have and I'm extremely excited to read it. I've heard that it's very emotional and I can see that it would be so I'm definitely really excited to read this novel because I think that it is such an important book that's out there. The last book I have on my list is They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera and Adam is my second favorite author of all time and one of my favorite favorite people of all time. He is so kind and wonderful. He is just such a kind person and I think that the book community is so lucky to have him as part of the community because we honestly don't deserve him. He is so pure and angelic. I got this copy of my book signed because I got to see him and Saba. This was my second time meeting him. I have all of my Adam books signed and I'm just so excited to read this novel and support him. This is actually the Predathon group book and I'm so glad we chose this one because we are supporting such a phenomenal author and I'm so glad this also made the New York Times bestseller list at number five on its debut week and the premise of the story is that it follows two um, main characters, Rufus and Mateo. And Rufus, I believe, is Cuban American and bi and Mateo is Puerto Rican and gay. Basically the two of them like are gonna die in 24 hours. There's something that like calls them and tells them that they're gonna die in 24 hours that every person finds out 24 hours before they die that they're going to die but they don't know how they're going to die. So both of them get the call and like they join this last friend app and that's kind of how they meet and spend you know the last 24 hours together and I think that is such an interesting premise and everyone who I know got an arc of it absolutely loved it and I can definitely see why because if you've read More Happier History by Adam, which 
I have reviews of both of those, so I will link that up there. But then I definitely think it's understandable that this one is also heart wrenching. As you know, Adam does. He wrenches our hearts and tortures us. And I'm just super excited to read this and support him because he is such a kind and lovely individual. And yeah. So those are all the books I had to show you in this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe because that stuff makes me happy. And comment down below, tell me, have you read any of these books? If so, what did you think of them? If you haven't read any of them, tell me if you are planning to read any of them and then we can chat because chatting is fun and I like doing it. As usual, all of my social media and my go-to's will be in the description below if you'd like to follow me anywhere else. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day night wherever you are. Please remember you're beautiful and you deserve the world. And I will see you next week with a brand new video. Goodbye.